Hey guys, welcome to Makeup History of the 1990s. So the trend that started in the 70s with the individualism where everyone chose their own look took flight in the 90s. There, It's really hard to kind of pinpoint one iconic look for the 90s because there was just so much going on. It was more like we have nowadays, just kind of fleeting trends here and there that were followed briefly and then abandoned again. It's really hard to pick an overall look for the 90s as a whole. There were several different things that were going on. Of course you had your grunge, heroin chic, kind of dark smudged eyeliner, pale skin, pale lips look that was in for a while. You know, the kind of Kate Moss look. You had your uh, sexy full lips supermodel kind of Cindy Crawford look. One thing that was definitely noticeable was a strong contrast to the makeup of the 80s as it tends to happen um, in reaction to over-the-top makeup came pretty much no makeup at all. And this is just how fashion works. It's always a reaction to what came before. So pretty much it goes in waves of opposites. So in the 90s, we have entered an era of the no makeup makeup look. It was all back to natural, kind of neutral shades, mattes, uh, nothing too crazy, kind of keeping everything pretty neutral. All the colors were worn, but they were worn very conservatively, um, pretty much as we do now, just a little bit on the eyelid, not going crazy all over the face. And definitely the most popular colors were just browns and muted, muted colors. And for the lips, of course, the dark burgundy and kind of brownish shade. Frost, frosty finish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if I were to pinpoint one kind of iconic look for the 90s, it would be this, um, what I'm wearing right now. So mattes, browns on the eyes, a little bit of a smudged eyeliner, a little bit of a blush applied pretty naturally, blended out really well, and then the frosty brown burgundy-ish lips. So I guess we're just gonna have to jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to start by applying foundation in my own skin color and that is going to be a nice layer on top of my skin. Nothing too heavy, it's okay for your own skin to shine through. And I'm going to cover up my dark circles with some concealer. And then powder everything off with my pressed powder. Okay, so for the eyes I'm going to use my Naked palette and I'm going to take this kind of light brown that's just a little bit darker than my natural skin color and that is going to go all over the moving parts of my eyelid. And then I'm going in with this slightly darker brown and I'm going to apply that with a fluffy brush into my crease and I'm also going to blend that onto the outer corner of my eyelid. And that same color is going to go underneath my eyelid as well. And be sure to blend this out really well for a smoky look. And then it's time for eyeliner. So I'm going to take a pencil eyeliner and just line the top of my lash line and then I'm going right in with a brush and smudging everything out. And when that's smudged, I'm going to take whatever is left of the eyeliner on my brush and just gently brush that on my bottom lashes as well. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a load of mascara. Okay, that's the eyes done. So then I'm going to move on to my cheeks and I'm just going to take this natural pinky blush and I'm going to apply that from the outside of my cheekbone inwards and blend it out really well. And you wanna use a light hand when it comes to blush. So then it's time for lips. I'm going to take this dark brownish burgundy lip liner and I'm going to line my lips with this. And then I'm going to take this frosty brown lipstick and go over that to create that typical 90s finish. And then I realized I forgot to do my eyebrows, so I'm just going to fill them in like I usually do, using some eyeshadow in the color of my eyebrows. And I'm not going to do anything crazy with them, just fill them in naturally. And that's your 90s look done! At the moment this is a very trendy look, for some reason stuff always comes back and right now we're in a 90s kind of fad. <laughs> this is also the last episode of Makeup History part two. <laughs> I am really sad that it's over, but I am going to start a new series probably next week where I'm going to take you all the way back in history again. We're starting at the very beginning. I really hope you enjoyed this series as well. Thank you so much for watching. So thanks again so much guys and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!